Welcome back to Bricks and Blocks. And here is the part three of Drawers of Doom. I've got like way too many Legos. It's taken me a lot of therapy classes to say that. Just kidding. I don't go to classes. But again, the Lego tape is a big help. Um, you start working on a big project, it's easier to find your parts. I know a lot of people have different ways of sorting Legos, and I'd love for you guys to share any comments you have or ideas. Don't forget to like and share. If you're into Legos like I am, I'm sure you know somebody who's just about as bad off as I am. So, maybe they could get some uh, ideas out of sorting, sorting like this, or maybe they can give me some ideas. So, I'm kind of open to suggestion. But this is uh, what I love to do. I enjoy it a great deal. It's relaxing sorting sizes and colors and, and the lego tape has really made life a lot easier for my end so shout out to my end thanks for the tape appreciate it i bought a lot of it um of course you get into the the smaller pieces it, it's really hard to do this inside these drawers but it, it's worked out pretty good animals and things like that and all the trees are in the next drawer and all the the foliage so if you're building a greenhouse you've got it all but don't forget to like and share if you got any comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. And thanks for watching. This is Bricks and Blocks Storage Part 3.